Another day, another Christmas with Chrissy. I've got my cup of coffee here. Oh my God, the smell of cinnamon just makes me so happy this time of year. Seasonal smells all around. Can I get an amen? Anyway, so I wanted to dedicate this video into actually helping you start your fitness journey. There are so many videos, tips and tricks to show you how to live a healthy lifestyle. But how do you start a healthy lifestyle? That's what I wish I had. I wish I had a video that I refer to when I first started this fitness journey. It was a little bit overwhelming when I first started. I didn't know what I was doing. Loads of trial and error. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something real quick. It doesn't matter what advice I give you, another YouTuber gives you, your mom, your dad, you will find trial and error in your own path, in your own journey. You'll have days where you feel like shit. You'll have days where you don't wanna train. You will have days where you smash your workout and you leave the gym so happy and fulfilled. But listen, there are good days, there are bad days, but how do you actually start? So this video is gonna be kind of a vlog type video, but I'm obviously gonna give you tips and tricks along the way. So I thought I would share my whole day with you guys and in the process give you tips and tricks that I swear by, that I give my clients, that I give my mom, that I give my mom's next door neighbor, that I know will work, okay? We're here to work. Here on this channel, it's about simplicity, okay? It's about keeping things simple, efficient, and will actually get you to hit your goals. Nothing fancy pantsy, okay? If you want fancy pantsy, you've come to the wrong place. So, let's start with tip number one. Okay, so we're by my Christmas tree, feeling incredibly festive, but um, shall, I, uh, shall I light up my K here? Um, all right. Well, fuck me, that's more festive. So, the first tip I would have to say is to Stop making fucking excuses. <laughs> like, mind my language, and I really don't care how brutal that sounds. I'm here to give you facts. I'm not here to sugarcoat things for you. And then you leave this video and you literally just are back to square one. You need to stop making excuses. Excuses are literally the worst thing any human can consume. And unfortunately, we all have excuses. I wake up, I make excuses not to eat a healthy breakfast and I prefer Cocoa Pops. I go to the gym and make excuses about, look, I don't want to bloody lift heavy. I'm just going to talk to the receptionist and tell her about how I got my hair dyed. You know, we all have excuses, but it's about knuckling down and trying to eliminate the amount of excuses we make on a daily basis. For example, the amount of time you spend contemplating and making excuses to why you cannot do something and why you cannot achieve something, you would have taken that time and utilized it to actually doing something productive. Just think about how many excuses you've possibly made in your lifetime and just accumulate all that time Imagine all that time to creating something magical and doing something productive. And let me tell you something. When I first started this fitness journey, my main excuse is I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know where to start. I don't know what I'm doing. So therefore, I'm not going to do it. It took me a long time to figure out that actually, I just needed to sit down and figure out what I wanted, find a way to make that happen. And then those excuses slowly started to dissolve away. So just knuckle down, stop making excuses, actually get yourself to the gym or even work out at home. You do not need to go to the gym. You can work out at home. Meal prep, get your meals done. It's gonna take you an hour tops to meal prep for three days ahead. And you have healthy, wholesome, nutritional foods to eat those three days instead of going to the shop and being like, okay, a chocolate bar is more convenient. I didn't have time to meal prep, that's an excuse. I don't have time to eat healthy, that's an excuse. You have time to eat healthy. If you have time to make that excuse, you have time to eat healthy and train. Trust me. Fun facts with Chrissy. When I used to be a waitress, 
And I always refer back to this because I just think that, I just remember how busy I used to be. I used to wake up at 6 a.m. to be at work for eight, right? And in those two hours, I would study and get myself ready for work. When I used to work, I used to work from, let's say, eight to 2 p.m. Then I would have a two hour slot again for three till four or 4.30 to get my workout done and to study for another hour whilst I was at law school. And then I would go back to work 6 p.m. to whenever the restaurant would shut. So just think about how much you can do in a day. If that means waking up an hour early, if that means going to bed an hour later, make it happen. Stop the excuses and make shit happen. So that's tip number one. So we are now gonna go grab some lunch because we're so, so hungry. And what a great opportunity to bring you guys with me because I felt that when I first started my fitness journey, I always had to deprive myself of things that I wanted to eat, right? And then to top things off, I used to go to restaurants and either order something that wasn't satisfying or felt the need to constantly restrict myself just because I was eating outside of my house, which actually drove me to insanity. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna order and show you that you can eat healthy, have a little treat, and not feel so bad on your fitness journey. So we just finished lunch and we are on our way back home. As you guys saw, I ordered sea bass and then underneath the sea bass there was some potato-like weird patty-ish shit I don't know what the hell that was but there was just not enough potato okay I needed some more carbs with that dish and then the side portion I ordered some halloumi sticks I just want to say that when it comes to fitness and starting a fitness journey the biggest mistake you could ever make is going head first depriving yourself restricting yourself from absolutely everything that you fancy and you love that makes you feel human you know you're not always gonna eat broccoli and celery and that you just want a little bit of chocolate and a little bit of cake once in a while so that's what I did to begin with I went head first I cut out everything I just went in hundred and ten percent I wanted to get those abs and it just didn't work I would end up restricting myself so much and I would have days where I would just binge eat so honestly if you fancy something in moderation so I fancied halloumi sticks I'm gonna have like three out of five let's say but my main dish is going to be high in protein macro and micro friendly to my body and to my goals like i said there was not enough carbs nowhere near enough carbs so also just pay attention to your portions i should have ordered more so if you feel like there's not enough order more don't be hesitant to ask the wait waiter or waitress or something that you want specifically made you are a paying customer always remember that when i went home now i'll see you in a jiffy <laughs> So I'm heading to the gym now and we're going to be doing a upper body session. Um, like I said, I'm only going to be showing you a couple snippets just because I really want to get my workout done and I want to keep this video for its primary purpose to tell you guys how to start your fitness journey. Now, one thing that I definitely did at the beginning was, like I was talking about, I definitely deprived myself and restricted myself with food. But also, I didn't have a structured plan for the gym. Like I said, you do not need to be going to the gym to train. You can train at home, outside, you can find group sessions. Whatever makes you happy, sweats, gives you strength and power, definitely, definitely continue to do that. I personally feel my strongest at the gym when I'm lifting weights and I'm feeling powerful. But if you like Zumba, yoga, keep on doing that. But yeah, I definitely went to the gym without a plan, without a set structure, not knowing what I was really doing. As much as different people's methods and workouts help visually to see, I needed to set a structure and a plan for myself or find something that I could follow. There are such amazing workout plans and apps out there. Your girl's bringing out her own app real soon. Um, but yeah, to just basically tell you exactly what to do at the gym. And I think workout plans and apps are amazing things. 
The reason being is because you won't be confused on what you need to do, right? So Monday, come Monday, you know you need to be hitting glutes and hamstrings, for example. Come Tuesday, you know you need to be going to the gym and getting a, a back day in, doing your lap pull downs, your single arm rows, reverse grip rows. You know exactly what you need to be doing. It's a set structure to help you understand how your body works, how you, you should split your week, and exactly what areas to target and what muscle groups should be targeted together. That's essentially what a workout plan or an app should do. It should guide you into understanding how to work out and how to work out properly. If you're someone who doesn't wanna spend money on a guide or an app, if you're someone who really wants to do this for themselves, you can, please don't think that you can't. A little research, a little patience, and look, trial and error. If you go to the gym and you find that a lap fall down is really not for you, you don't really feel it in your back, you know, it's uncomfortable, find another exercise. There is absolutely nothing wrong with going to the gym and spending two hours of your spare time, let's say, in the gym, not even working out, but testing exercises and seeing which ones you feel and which ones you don't. So tip number three is definitely, definitely, definitely Find yourself a plan, or if you don't want to purchase a plan or anything like that, set yourself a plan with the right research and just have a structured plan for you to go to the gym and absolutely demolish your workout. Similar for home workout, similar for outdoor workout. Just have a plan set in place. BCAs in my system, these are the Tammy Hembro ones. Women's Best really needs to bring out Tammy's BCAs again. Out because they're amazing. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just go gym. Okay, bye. my whole heart. You're my princess. You're my princess. Mm. So I just finished the gym and it was a difficult one. Why? Because your girl is a cardi no kind of girl. We don't do cardio and I added some cardio into my routine just because I was feeling a little bit sluggish and whenever I feel sluggish I incorporate some cardio. I knew exactly what I was doing in the gym. I went in there. I knew I had things to set up. I knew I had a circuit today, so I made it happen. I didn't waste time faffing around, figuring out what I needed to do. I just went in the gym, got my workout done, finished, came home. Bish bash bosh. And that's exactly what I'm saying. You need to be prepared. You need to have a structure and a plan in place before you head to the gym or before you execute your workout. Now we're gonna go through a couple more tips just that I swear by and that I always tell my clients to do and I wanna share with you guys. So we've spoken about not making excuses, we've spoken about not depriving and we've spoken about having a structure in place. Another tip that I swear by is you have to keep yourself accountable. Now, what I mean about accountability is if you miss three or four workouts out in a row, ask yourself, did you really have to miss out those workouts? Was it something that you could have actually gone to the gym and got it done and come out of the gym and felt good about yourself? 
or were you just being a little bit lazy or you were just lacking a bit of motivation now i get it motivation will come and motivation will go i never have a hundred percent consistent motivation there are days where i have to force myself to go to the gym and i really don't want to but i make it happen because i'm keeping myself accountable why is it you want to start this journey why is it you want to um, achieve these goals and create that lifestyle that you really want that healthy lifestyle not just physically but mentally why is it that you want that these questions need to be answered right at the beginning of your fitness journey because when you have those answers you can go along with them and always remind yourself why is it you started this journey at the beginning you have to keep yourself accountable because truth be told, you cannot blame anyone else, anyone else for the actions that you do. You are doing your actions yourself. So if you're not going to the gym, if you're picking a chocolate bar over a healthy nutritional meal, that is you, that is no one else. So don't blame other people or don't blame something isn't working or a diet plan isn't working, a shake isn't working. You are accountable for yourself. I know I'm sounding brutal and I know I'm sounding really blunt, but honestly, I don't think you understand how powerful you are. You, as a human being, have every single power to change every single thing that you wanna change in your life. If something's making you unhappy, if you wanna change any aspect in your life, whether that be your lifestyle, whether that be you wanted to go gym, you wanna grow a booty, you want bigger shoulders, a tinier waist, you have the power to do anything and achieve anything that you want to do. You need to start believing in yourself. Which leads me on to my final tip. And this tip is very near and dear to my heart and it's something that I had to constantly remind myself along my fitness journey and still have to remind myself. I need to start believing in myself more and so do you. At the beginning, when I first started this journey, I was so scared, like, what are people gonna think? Or am I doing things right in the gym? Oh my God, people are looking at me in the gym. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Literally all these thoughts would just circle in my head to the point where it would make me not wanna actually get shit done. And that was because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe in the ability to make a change, okay? I didn't believe in myself. And that is something that, not regret, I don't regret it because now I know the importance of growth and understanding how much I should have believed in myself. But that is something I wish someone had told me at the beginning, that I need to believe in myself, my ability, and the fact that I am the only person in this world that's gonna make a positive change to my life. Like I've always said, your diet is what you put in your mouth. Your hand is the hand that feeds you. Your body is the body that trains you. Your mind is how you think. So if you start believing in yourself and you start truly, just honestly, fucking believe in yourself, like I can't stress it enough. You're so goddamn powerful, you're so goddamn strong. If only you knew how strong you were, you would literally smash everything in life. So yeah, tip number five, believe in yourself. Believe that you can make it happen you can do this for yourself and you are so, so freaking capable. So that concludes this video. It's something that I really wanted to do. It's something that I truly hope helps you guys as much as possible along your fitness journey. And you know, even if you've started your fitness journey now, if you haven't started yet and you're waiting for that app, <laughs> my app's release date will be announced very, very soon. So make sure you are following me on Instagram so you can be the first to know when the release of the app will be. But honestly, I really hope this video helped. I mean, so I know this was a little bit brutal and I know this was a little bit blunt and I'm sorry if it was a bit too brutal or blunt, but I just really just wanna stress the points that I made and just make you truly believe in yourself and your ability. Um, so yeah. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram. Comment down below for any future videos you'd like to see. I really want some ideas for uh, Vlogmas. This isn't a really Vlogmas kind of Vlogmas if you're trying to 
get what I'm saying. And I'm doing more like topic and subject kind videos. That's what I like doing. I'm not really a vlogging kind of gal. I find it very difficult to vlog. So um, if you have any suggestions, just pop them down below and I always read your comments. And just remember that I love you so, so much. I love you always and forever. And yeah. Oh, give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel. Bye.